guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blow. Good morning. Yesterday's episode, part four, um, we used epoxy and uh, covered up a crack that we found in the front of the uh, bottom of the engine, which was causing a lot of oil leaks, as well as the oil uh, drain plug was loose. So I thought we had it all taken care of. Uh, I added some more oil in there before I turned in for the day and this morning I wake up and I walk in here and what do I see? Hoping that we fix those oil leaks. Oh, as you can see, it's still leaking significantly. Otherwise you wouldn't have a huge puddle like that. You know what I mean? So unfortunately, what we have to do today is remove the muffler, disconnect the uh, starter wire to the starter, unhook the um, wiring harness to the tractor. On this side, disconnect the throttle cable, the fuel line, and loosen the three bolts, not four, because the fourth was so difficult to get on there that unless the engine ran, would I put the fourth on here? <laughs> or if you have a really bad oil leak, you may consider not using this engine. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to unmount this engine, flip it on its back, and see where on earth this leak is. Because if this leak um, cannot be fixed, you can't use this engine. Even though the engine runs well. That's annoying, huh? Sorry, these uh, episodes on this engine is not as glamorous as putting together the tractor. But you know what? You know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, so that didn't take that long actually. Here we go. <clears throat> Gas be a dripping. All right, let's, let's take a good inspection of the underbelly of this thing. Why is this thing leaking? Well, it appears that it's the same spot that I fixed. Apparently, uh, I didn't fix it right. As you can see, the seal is good. We actually ran this afterwards. After we did that, we ran it. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to get that... Uh, Epoxy ready. So I just used my compressor and I uh, spread it down with some uh, parts cleaner and degreaser from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products and then uh, blew it out and uh, it's a very clean engine now. I'm gonna go over this thing one more time even though it doesn't leak, right? And then uh, if you look really closely, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I actually missed a few spots. So that was the reason why it still leaks is because the gobs and stuff being upside down on the floor, putting it, uh, applying it upwards, it was difficult to do in the crevice. So there are a few spots that I missed, which is the reason for the um, leak. Also, since I cleaned up the engine so well, I was looking over here. And what do you guys see? I see another hairline crack right there. So it, while it's not leaking yet, I do want to coat that part as well, just to make sure. Um, it, th those, as you can see, that crack and this crack is from the front bolts. When you tighten it too tight, it'll crack there. 
It's a crappy engine. It's a color, crappy color. Anyway, well, let's mix up some uh, epoxy and uh, I'll go to town. So while I'm waiting for the uh, epoxy to dry, um, I took out the deck. It was in the back of my garage. I uh, got uh, two decks out of the two um, mowers I got from Nick from Delta. Uh, trashed one of them. Uh, made one tractor out of two. I had two decks left. One's on the tractor that I made. And here's the other tra uh, deck that uh, was in the back. It's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, but. I'm just going to spray black on the sides here, leaving the middle the way it is, right? Uh, I was missing one of these um, keeper brakes. These things. This keeper brake here on that side. I went to the backyard and found one, and it took me a while to figure out how it worked. Got a couple of springs, one for this, and also it didn't have a spring for the return on this. Also oiled up the pulleys here. And it all works. And uh, the spindles are free. So I'm gonna spray the sides a little bit and uh, this is complete to mount on this tractor if we ever get around to it. So here's the epoxy. I went over it like three times. <laughs> Pretty much used up everything I had. It's nice and thick over here. So hopefully it won't leak anymore. And uh, that little hairline one, which didn't seem like it was um, leaking, but I still covered it with some leftover epoxy anyway. I also tightened this uh, oil drain plug a little bit more. And I guess I'm gonna put this down. And I got a couple of new cardboards here, just so we can make sure that it doesn't leak anymore. If it doesn't leak anymore, I'll remount the engine and then we can put the deck on. So I went over it real quick with uh, some quick color dollar 38 paint from Home Depot. You know, it looks better than before. It's flat black. I had to use it up. So, <clears throat> um, I guess this is okay to mount, you know what I mean? So it's been about an hour or two. And, uh, during that time I decided I was going to put the engine back again and, uh, I mounted the three bolts, right? And I uh, put the muffler back on, wiring harness back on, starter wire, positive wire back on, throttle cable, fuel line back onto the carburetor. I put two new cardboard pieces underneath and there is no drips. Great. So maybe we fix the oil leak finally and uh, so you know what I'm gonna do? Um, 
Should I start her up? That's a true test, right? Start it up, run it for a little bit, see if the oil leaks out after it's being heated up by the engine. So here we go. Once again. Oh, and by the way, the carburetor doesn't leak. Amazing. There are some uh, lifter noises. Uh oh. I see a drip. I see a drip. It's not good. Well, uh, I'm not going to do it again, you know? Uh, let's uh, put this on its side and put the uh, double stack pulley on anyway. We've done all the work already, you know what I mean? Might as well put the pulley on just to at least see if the uh, transmission works, you know what I mean? So I found a uh, bolt. And at the side, I'm going to put on this double stack pulley. And looks like the oil's coming from. Uh, actually, you can't even really tell. It's a little bit right there. So here we go, I'm going to put the double stack pulley on, oh it's very tight, so I'm going to put the brake down in the emergency parking brake, that way it gives it some slack, there we go, rotate a little bit to find the key, there it is. Bolt in, it's a 5 8 Hello. Hello. How come it's not uh, going in? I tried it before. I think that's it. Okay, double stack pulleys on, and we'll release the brake. There we go, and we have good tension. Good. I guess what we can do is, we can at least uh, start her up again and see if it moves forward and backwards, see if the transmission works. Got enough room right now to just see if it moves forward and backwards. Remember, it's a hydrostatic. So while this is pulled out, hmm. I wonder why it's oh. 
No, it should it should roll. Alright, well that disengage doesn't work. It seems to be in gear, so I don't know, we just have to try it, see if it goes forward and backwards. Starter doesn't work. Starter's kind of kinky now. So today, tried to fix that oil leak again, and uh, looks okay now. But maybe a couple hours later, might you might see a leak, you know. Uh, we know that it runs forward and backwards, which is great. We know the transmission works. Belt. I don't know. Uh, because the, the, the starter seems like it's kind of funny, right? I wasn't, I was going to put the cover back onto the thing, but then I just know that it's going to have a problem with, and I can't turn it with my hands with the cover on. So I'm just going to leave it off for now. Um, I'm going to put the hood back on. Connect the wiring, see if we can get the lights to work. Just to make it look like a real tractor. Yeah. I just know I'm gonna have to end up taking this back off again, but I do want to see if lights work. All right, decent hood, decent. I'm gonna connect the lights now. piece of it thanks a lot for joining me on part five of this craftsman lt2000 repower project it still leaks a little oil from before but now it seems like it's okay moves forward and backwards tomorrow we're going to put atf in the tires that are flat which is most of them go for our first test ride okay test drive around the block see how it holds up see how bad the oil leak is tomorrow of course we do have the double stack pulley on there now right means that that pulley will hold all the oil that's in it so you're not probably not going to see any leaks tomorrow unless it's really bad um, and then once you start it up that oil will splash all over the place you know uh, we're getting there huh it's taken a long time mostly because of this engine you know we had to figure out all the problems and uh, apparently it's got a, a pretty um, 
pretty bad cracks all around, you know, so I could use a, a new engine block, but, you know, those things are kind of hard to come by, you know. And it really drives me crazy because I had like two or three engine blocks in the past that had small cracks. I should have just kept them, you know. Well, whatever it is, we have what we have to work with, right? And uh, apparently the insides of the engine is just fine. But it kind of makes you think about why there are cracks. You know what I mean? There had to be some kind of trauma to cause the cracks. But the engine seems to run fine. And the starter seems a little hinky. I don't want to spend 30, 40 bucks for a new starter. I don't, you know. Um, I, I noticed that after I sprayed some uh, penetrating oil along the shaft of the starter, it slips like that, you know. Other than that, it, it usually runs good. So I think maybe after we burn up that penetrating oil, maybe it might start to be more reliable of a starter, you know. But uh, pretty stoked about the way it, uh, it worked out today. We know it does drive forward and backwards. Engine just runs fine, you know. And we got the lights to work too. And hopefully we uh, took care of the major leaks at least. But uh, tomorrow we'll put the deck on, go for a test drive, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks all for joining me on today's episode. Join me on part six of my Craftsman LT2000 Repower. We'll see you guys later on Mowers and Blowers. Because the UPS guy screwed this up. I'm gonna see you guys next time on more. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.